Hey guys, um, today is, oh my goodness, I think today is Thursday. <laughs> I was going to say, hold on, let me look at my phone. And that's what I'm recording with. Uh, today is, this is crazy. Uh, ooh, well, today's the 16th. January, today's Thursday. I think today's Thursday. <laughs> today's Thursday, happy Thursday, guys. Um, it is Thursday because uh, Laura with Mad Mimi said, whip Wednesday, what's on my hooks or something. Something like that. Um, oh my goodness, it feels like forever um, since I've posted, I have been extremely busy um sitting in the same spot for the past month almost i mean i do get up every once in a while um but i've been crocheting a ton and um i've posted a few items on instagram of some you know some of the things that i've been making um i haven't completed some of my whips like the woody i started i don't even know why i'm saying that because i wasn't going to show you guys whips today i wanted to show you guys i am going to show you guys happy mail see it's my little head the top of the woody i need to work on the shirt and the pants shirt pants the boots etc and the cowboy hat the reason why i wanted to post this video was because oh, let me take this off Here you go mom Ooh. Up here, it's for me. He is learning how to read. That's what we're trying to teach him. We're trying to teach him how to read. And um, he just brought me this letter. He's supposed to be taking a nap. I don't know what it says yet, but I'm gonna keep it. Um, I got happy mail. Um, I got three things of Happy Mail on three different occasions, and I uh, uh, wanted to come out. Thank you, and thank you guys. One of the other things, oh my goodness, okay. Thank you for watching, the, watching me. I would like to welcome all of the new subscribers, and I would like to thank all of the awesome subscribers that I have all of you because I was looking at my um, at my count for uh, uh, subbies right my sub count and for sure I was like okay I haven't been on in like a month so I know I oh, know it's been two weeks now right I posted something in the giveaway when they're on the first so it's been like two weeks 16 days or something and so I was like, for sure, I probably have like four or five subscribers. <laughs> and I don't, I still have a bunch of you guys. So thank you so very much for sticking around. Even though I haven't been posting anything, um, I will start posting some stuff. Uh, I uh, December really brought me into this funk, you know? Um, so I just wanted to catch up, catch you guys up with some of the stuff that's going on. So my husband was laid off again, uh, was laid off in December. Not, and so he's looking for work, you know, as we speak. And I'm sure he'll find something really soon. And, um, and so that and the holidays and, um, just a lot of stuff, right? And and uh, it's I just it's like I just went into a little cave or something, and now I'm like kind of like <laughs> okay, I'm coming back. Um, so here I am. Uh, I wanted to show you guys. Have I been showing you guys like any? I got this. Oh, I was so excited. I'm gonna keep this as a look where it's from. It's from Canada. 
and it's from Kim from Kim's Crochet and Knits. And uh, I received it a couple last week. I received it, or a couple of weeks ago. I think it was a couple of weeks ago um, that I got it and I didn't even want to use anything because uh, I wanted to show this on a video now this is this didn't go on the Christmas tree but it's not going to be put away because it's Christmas colors but look what I got from Kim I was I opened it, of course, already. I was really happy when I saw it, but oh my goodness, she's making these beautiful stitch markers. Look at them. Aren't they gorgeous? <laughs> Look at this thing that she crocheted. It is super duper cute. I wish I would have thought of something like this. Super cute. I love these stitch markers, Kim. Thank you so, so very much. They're beautiful. They're so pretty. I still can't look how pretty they are aren't they nice I love them thank you so much and um, I received another package from a, another awesome awesome lady and uh, maybe one of these days she'll go ahead and and start uh, showing us some of her stuff. Oh my God, I've seen, I've gotten a glimpse of the <laughs> of her stash and boy, does she have some stash. But I got a box, I was gonna wait to open it here and then I couldn't, I got that itch and I was like, I needed a fix. <laughs> and so I, um, I opened it up and I was so excited, but I don't want to use it, even though I do, because I want to show it to you guys first. So Karen Smith sent me an email and asked me, or a text, and asked me if it was okay. Uh, she had some yarn that she was not going to use and she asked me if I'd want it, if I'd like it. And I, who is, who, who, who? I have not met a person who says no to yarn. If somebody were to call me and say, hey, Veronica, I have a huge basket full of leftover yarns or the, you know, the leftover thingies that we have left and said, would you like it? I'd take it in an instant. <laughs> I just like yarn. Um, and so she said, don't be surprised when you open it because the box was like, I'm exaggerating, right? But the box was like this little. <laughs> I was like, oh, I got a package in the mail. And then when I opened it, it was like, oh, <laughs> she packaged it in airtight bags. I mean, there was, there were bags and bags. And it's beautiful. She just sent me some stuff she didn't say she was going to send. This is in a little package. It's unforgettable. I don't want to open it yet because I'm not going to use it yet. Maybe. I don't know. And then there is this one in there. Isn't it pretty? Karen, I don't know why you're not using this. This is gorgeous. Look at this. It's so pretty. I love the colors. And um, I would like your ideas because I've been making a bunch of things right but i would like your ideas as to what to make with this besides a scarf or something for the winter because it is 80 some i'm sweating like a you know what in church right now um it's hot already over here i told you guys that we get to wear our winter stuff for like 20 minutes um <laughs> gorgeous Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Thank you so much, Karen. You know how this is going to help me. So I got this. And then, here's the other one that I got. I... 
cannot believe it. It is beautiful. I don't know why she doesn't like it. Oh my God, the colors. Look at that. Mm. I'm thinking a little office sweater or something. Um, I was showing my mother-in-law the sweaters that I made for my girls. I think that was yarn. The other day I was drinking some water and I knew there was a hair. I saw it, it was mine, but I thought I moved it out the way and then I drank some water and I felt something in my throat and I was like, <laughs> TMI, I know, but I went like this, the hair was in, on my tongue. So when I pulled it, I literally felt the hair like come up from down here like, oh. weird. You like this shirt? I'm a Veronica. I used to wear this a lot. It doesn't fit me so well now. I look like 10 pounds of sugar in a two pound bag, but it's okay. I like the shirt. Um, the other thing that I want to show you guys that I got in the mail. is I got it the other day. I have a friend, her name is Barbara, and uh, she is always finding the coolest stuff online. And, and it's, the stuff she finds is the kind of stuff that makes me go, even you guys will be like, oh my God, I want it. I got this package in the mail. You guys don't know how excited this made me. You'll see. Ready? Look at this mug. It has all the, this is this, a stitch chart. See that? And it's got a crochet stitch counting guide. It's got a crochet hook for the yarn weight cheat sheet. It's got chart symbols that I can't read. Ooh. It's got chart symbols. It's got the crocheter's ultimate cheat sheet, basic stitch reminder, rules of thumb for basic crochet stitches and crochet charts key. It even has the, oh, I could have really used this one. It's got the US, the English, and the metric sizes for the hooks. I was trying to figure out what number this is, D. What's number D? Is it a size three hook? I need to post a bunch of videos because I have so many questions and so many things to share now. But um, look at this, this is awesome. I didn't want to open it. I don't ever like to open stuff. You guys should see how much makeup I have that I obviously need to start using. <laughs> oh, look, it even has like a little, she was not a happy camper. Oh, look! Oh, that's awesome. It's to drink from there. And look, it came with a metal straw. <laughs> Here I am, all in your face. It came with a metal, oh, guys. Look, and it came with the thing to clean it. I've always needed one. Oh my goodness. Barbara, I love it. I absolutely love it. I may put it back in my in my bag so nothing happens to it. I don't know. She gave me a six pack of bee cups because I absolutely love bees. They are my favorite, favorite favorite animal in the world. Insect, I guess. I love bees. I love gardening outside and I love sitting down in the plants that I purposely planted outside to attract the honeybees. 
It also attracts some other ones, but my honeybees are like, and uh, I love bees. And so anyway, she gave me a six pack of cups that had bees on them and I won't use them. Um, I love them so much I don't use them, but I need to start changing my mindset and then stop saving stuff just in case and just start using everything. I used to buy clothes and shoes and I haven't bought makeup in a long time, but I have tons and tons and tons of palettes and then I don't even use them. I just love looking at them. Well, guess what? Yarn, same stuff, but I've been using it. Um, that was my, um, that was that video of my uh, Happy Mail and uh, I will be posting another one in a few talking about, well, no, you know what? I'm just gonna do it here. This is 15 minutes long. I have not been on here for about two weeks. So let me show you guys something. Hopefully you guys stick around. This is one of my FOs that I'm working on. I have not been able to complete it because I started working on some other stuff. Why? Because when my husband told me that he lost his, uh, that, you know, he was laid off, I went into like, I'm gonna say panic mode or something, whatever mode it was, it was like, you know, I put my, like my battle, you know, hat on and stuff and it was like, okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna open up a store, a little shop, you know, in the middle of this place called Trader's Village and um, I'm gonna sell my crocheted stuff. Like my crocheting is going to ever catch up to an engineer salary, huh? But I wasn't, I didn't wanna take it just laying down, you know, and like, you know, oh, poor us and poor me and what are we gonna do? And I was like, no, we need to, I need to do something. So even when he, even when he does get back to work soon, I'm still going to be doing this, right? Because um, we opened up a little store. It's ugly in there right now. I mean, not ugly like, um, I don't like it, right? So I painted one wall and I'm starting to decorate it and I'm making signs and I'm putting like little chalkboard things and I'm trying to make it look cute. Um, any ideas or photos that you guys want to send me uh, via email um, are welcome suggestions uh, and things to make to place in there. So far I've been putting things in there like uh, beanies, uh, headbands, cowls, like this one, which I don't look really cute in. And Sandy can post a video. She could be wearing her stuff and Kim could be wearing her stuff and all you other ladies can be wearing your stuff when you're speaking and you're like, oh yeah, this and that and all this other stuff and it looks so cute. And when I wear it, <laughs> I don't know what I look like, but I don't look cute. But you guys look cute. All of you guys look cute. Um, so anywho, um, um, I just, phone call. So I decided I was gonna finish it, but this is what I have so far. I'm using for this one, I am using this yarn called Kuka, Kuka Yarns. It's from Ice Yarns. And this is summer mercerized cotton. It's 70% cotton, mercerized cotton, 30% viscose. And they're calling, ooh, they're saying that they're they looking, it's a 3.5 millimeter US 4. Is that what this is? Ooh. Duh, why don't I go back to my uh, hook conversion or whatever it is, cheat sheet. And I will tell you that a size four is a, still doesn't make sense. Oh, here we go. Ah, it's a size three. And it's not crocheting like it's a size three. stitches I'll figure it out one of these days okay um, the other thing that I wanted to show you guys is um, I posted a picture on Instagram 
and I was talking to a, a few of the ladies on Facebook and I was like, I think I found out why I was in such a funk. And um, I've been making all sorts of stuff, right? Some of my stuff's been coming out okay. Some of it I don't like the way it's been coming out. Pom-poms, oh my God, I cannot make a pom-pom to save my life. No pom-pom. Um, but, let me show you something. <laughs> these, I crochet these, they look ugly now. I mean, he thinks these are fucking street shoes. I, this thing is <laughs> And so I was telling my, I was telling some of the girls, I was like, oh my God, I think this is what depressed me the most. And they were like, why? And I was like, I realized that I probably need a mommy makeover. My husband lost his job. <laughs> I mean, these things are freaking huge. I was like, I think right after this, once I saw these, is when I started really going into a funk. <laughs> and y'all should have seen the jokes that we were talking about. Anyways, um, I do want to give you guys an update that will be in another video on um, the crochet hooks that I've been using. I have literally been crocheting, like I'll get up early in the morning, but by, when I sit down, it's breakfast time and I will not go to bed sometimes until like one or two o'clock in the morning crocheting. Um, what has been hurting was because of my posture has been my back. Like this, this shoulder, this area was starting to hurt from crocheting, but I think it's because I'm sitting down and I'm crocheting and I'm like this. Yeah, so this was hurting a lot. But anyways, I have been using some of the furls, the different ones, and I've been testing those out, and I've been using the clover hooks. And then I've been also trying to work with this one. I got it for my birthday. It's, you know, one of these thingies that you can wear. This is silver, I think it is should be for how much this thing costs and look it looks silver i don't know maybe it's not i mean it's silver looking but it well, that part comes out too to make it um it's got a magnet so see <laughs> it goes in on its own but this is a magnet too there's a magnet in there so my husband said he thought it was a really good idea because that's what actually keeps the hook in here because he thought that there might be some little thing in there that with time would start wearing out and not keep it in there so tight but it's not something i'm super concerned about anymore and if you're not using it it goes in there like that and voila um I think that's it. Next time I'm gonna show you guys. I have literally filled what two and a half totes of stuff that I've been crocheting, but it's been beanies after beanie after beanie. Let me show you these. Did I show you guys my stomach bath? Look at these. I made these with that red heart amour or something. I did not know how soft that was. That thing is so soft. I feel like I was able to make three of them with a 100 gram ball. I was able to make three of these little, three of these little beanies. And uh, some lady stopped by and she asked me if I could make her a black beanie with two pom poms for her daughter. So I made it. And I'm not happy with my pom-poms. So I may just give it away or give it to her. Um, but I made that. And another lady came by the store two weekends in a row because she wanted this beanie, but she wanted a uh, messy bun. 
beanie and so um someone else came by the day that she was supposed to come by and, and purchased it well she came by the next day and she was really angry because she told me not to put it out and so made another one it's that diamond uh stitch and i did this i was trying to figure out how i was going to work it because you know you have to start these things right here guess what so you have the magic I create I started with the magic loop right and so I realized that you could just pull it I should have left this string longer I kind of feel like attaching a little charm on here or something I'm not sure um, so that is my update um, I will show you guys oh no one more thing so next door to me there's another lady who has there's a lady who has another store and she sells stuff like necklaces jewelry incense stuff crystals etc right and she had a little basket with these pens these hand carved pens aren't they beautiful i pulled them up on etsy and i see that people are selling these for like anywhere between five to fourteen dollars and um i didn't think they wrote very well i didn't even pay attention to that i was just going to buy them because i i did buy them i bought them because i saw this they're hand carved and look and so when i when i was doing that i was inspecting them i picked up a hook Look at this. So I am going to have my husband do something with this so that I can put whatever I have to put on there and in here. And I'm going to make crochet hooks with these. Um, I love these. If, if she gets more, I'm going to buy all of them from her because on top of the fact that after you run out of ink look at this pen look at the tip oh, hold on here we go look at that tip now it writes amazing see this I mean, it's got, it writes, the way the ink comes out, it comes out like a fountain pen, but the tip is so thin. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I got this chunky fat rabbit, but look at the other one. And I got this on purpose. I have a plan for all of them. Maybe for a giveaway in the near future. But look, I have this one. Who's a flamingo? That's a flamingo. Beautiful. And I bet you it writes the same. I tested another one out. I have another fat bunny. I have another flamingo, but it's a different color. And so I have this bunny. And I got another, but I'm just all of them are rabbits. I didn't realize they were all rabbits. Look at this one, it's like a bunny on a carrot. But this pen right here, oh my God, whatever, whoever picked those pens, they're, they're open. They all write the same. Who does this remind you of? Granny B, look, I got you a pen. Ooh. Aren't they cute? And I bet you it writes. Yep. Yep. Aw, see? I love the way it writes. 
So I got these pens. I got the bunny bunny. This other one. This is cute. They're all adorable. And I really want to turn those into crochet hooks or I was thinking that it would be cool to have these and then like create the little packet, you know, but include have this and then put a little crochet hook in there. Never mind, I'll make it myself because this <laughs> you need to put some stuff on that metal so it can stick and then into this wood. But that's the other plan. That was the last thing I wanted to show you guys. Um, I'll show you my FOs later on and I'm going to do the review on that thing. This is a long video. I may not post it. We'll see. I know my video is super long. I was not going to post it, but I decided I still am. Um, I just was trying to stay away from the really long, long, long videos. Um, I just wanted to thank all of you guys. I really, really want to thank you guys. Um, if you guys knew exactly how I felt right now, you guys would really, really know that I am truly grateful for this channel. I'm truly grateful for all of the friendships that I've made um, through this. I, um, Oh my God, I'm so happy that I found you guys or that some of you guys are finding me too. I am so happy about that because I have more people to talk to. I have I have met so many ladies that I can relate to. Um, when I comment on a bunch of you guys' videos and, and I say something to you guys, um, I'm not being fake. Um, if I tell you that something is pretty or I tell you that, you know, I really like the color of something or if I, whatever comment that I put on any of you guys' videos and stuff, I mean it. Um, I uh, have been scrambling around a lot. I have been trying to, you know, get things in order in my home um, and, and uh, trying to be in a better place or put myself in a better place up here, you know? And you guys all help out so much reading all of your comments. Um, I love reading all your comments in my mind. <laughs> I respond to every single one of them. And then there's times where I'm sitting here and I'm crocheting and I'm like, oh, I need to respond to this, 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 and that. And I try going in to respond and I put that down. I'm like, okay, now I need to do this. And I didn't do that. I started like 10 whips you know, and, and, or I'll start working on three whips at one time. I have them like this and I'll crochet five minutes of this, put it down five minutes of that, put it down because I couldn't focus just on one, um, object, I guess. And I had to start this and that, that's why I have Woody. That's why I have this other thing started. I, I felt like scatterbrained, but I was still finishing things. Right. And, uh, if I don't respond to any of your comments, I, I, I do, make an effort, a conscious effort to go back in there and, and at least hit the little heart thing, right? Um, to let you guys know that I read it. I didn't realize that on some of those, when I went back, some of them didn't have a heart, so I go back and then I'll try to respond to some uh, or most of the ones that I can. Um, but I believe that I hit like survive mode um, to the extreme. And so I've been, I don't, um, I've been uh, watching video tutorials uh, for like uh, the for this one you know and stuff and I've been watching a lot of other videos um, so that I can be able to produce some of this stuff that was not in the plan I, I didn't have plans to open up a little crochet shop or anything like that it just started to happen it just happened right I mean it was a it was like let's do it and we did it and so now it's there and now I have to keep up with it and I can't just say this is you know I the first day that I opened up the little that we opened that we you know posted up I had like six beanies zero scarves I still don't have any scarves um, like six beanies a couple of headbands you know some dish towels that was it and now I have orders coming out the wazoo 
Um, I'm even, I even may have to turn one lady away because she ordered like five or six uh, wraps for newborns. And then I realized that you have to know how to knit. And I was thinking, okay, should I take that challenge on right now and try and learn how to knit so I can knit, you know, all of these baby wraps? I don't even know if, if it, because I know a lot of people use cheesecloths or something like that, right, for the wraps. But I would like to start focusing more on making things for newborns. Um, when I when I was taking my photography class and I finished, because uh, I love photography, right? I love colors and all that stuff. I really wanted to focus on newborn photography um, because I loved it so much, the poses, the things, and my plan was to crochet, this was what my plan was like three years ago. I was going to crochet newborn photo prop outfits and I was going to be the photographer and I was going to offer these newborn photo prop little outfits with the photo package, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, it's still there, it's still just, thought right I don't know if I want to get into the newborn photography now at all but I still am going to continue uh, with my photography because I love um, I love my camera um, I don't use it here <laughs> but I love my camera um, oh, my fish is staring at me he's so beautiful um, but um, so anywho I just wanted to thank you guys. I really want to thank you guys for sticking around. I really want to thank want to thank you guys for supporting me, for supporting my channel, um, for your awesome comments. I mean it from right here. I mean it. Um, it seems like we all, we don't come from the same place, but it seems like the reason why we came here right is to find more people that we can talk to like us right like uh about yarn about crocheting life all that stuff and i'm grateful um for all of you so that's why i wanted to come on here and thank you guys um i <laughs> apologize for the super long video i may not post another one in a couple for a couple of weeks but i do want to post one for sure giving you guys a review um, on these uh, crochet hooks and a very fair 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 one to uh, for furls because even though I had <laughs> I'll talk about it in another video and uh, I make it I may use my uh, microphone for the uh, my earphone thingy because uh, sometimes you can't hear me very well I hope you guys can hear me today I hope you guys have an awesome rest of the week, even though today is Thursday and you guys have a beautiful weekend. And I really hope to hear um, any comments you have to make about ideas for a little crochet shop. I am not spending any money on anything putting in there. Everything that's been going in there has been used for my garage, for my attic, you know, <laughs> I'm running out of stuff here. <laughs> Um, I was even thinking about taking that one with me and using it there. I painted that, by the way, and I need to finish that area, you know. But uh, I'll talk to you guys uh, later.